How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me once again for my Hoppapalooza. Moving on to a, uh, another British Columbia hoppy beer. Uh, today's beer is going to be Steel and Oak Brewing Company's Quayside Pale Ale with Guava and Sac Trois. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, haven't had a uh, wild IPA in a while, so uh, excited for this one. Uh, tend to like Steel and Oak's beer, so... Yeah, 5% uh, alcohol by volume, 26 IBUs, and uh, as it says, it's brewed with guava fruit and Saccharomyces trois um, wild yeast. So, uh, yeah, let's get a bit more in the glass here. Uh, pours a absolutely beautiful, almost like Duval kind of head. Um, yeah, two fingers, bright white, fluffy, frothy, uh, yet bubbly, soapy kind of thing going on. Beautiful head retention. Um, yeah, tons of carbonation on a slightly hazy, yellowish, just bright yellow kind of uh, uh, body. Looks awesome. Let's get an aroma. Yeah, getting a bit of that guava for sure. But a nice uh, barnyard funkiness, a uh, really dry, almost like white wine kind of oaky aroma coming off this one from that uh, wild yeast. And yeah, nice uh, green hoppiness in the background there, some piney notes, some uh, a slight basil kind of tinge to it. But uh, yeah, that smells really good. Yeah, let's try it out. Cheers. Mm. There's a nice tartness to the beer. It's definitely not a sour beer at all, but uh, it's got that wild tartness, that uh, um, oakiness, that tannic quality, slight acidity. Definitely getting the uh, guava as well. Um, that nice uh, creamy yet uh, bright uh, guava kind of fruit thing going on. The slight tartness from that too. Um, all in all, a really nice drink drinking beer. Usually I'm not the biggest uh, fan of uh, wild IPAs and stuff like that, but I, I tend to like the uh, Saccharomyces Trois more than Brett, um, especially in hoppy beers. And yeah, this is a prime example why. It's just really pleasant to drink. Very dry, light body to this one. Mouth feels super dry, but it's still got like middle of the tongue, this nice silky smoothness, really digging that. Yeah, hoppy, slightly fruity, um, getting a nice amount of that tannic, oaky quality. All in all, really good beer. That's a Quayside uh, Pale Ale from uh, Steel and Oak, sorry. Um, yeah, great beer. So, as a rating, I think I'll go right around a uh, B plus kind of rating. Let's go give this one a 87, something like that. So, yeah, let me know what y'all think of Quayside, any of uh, Steel and Oaks, other beers, and till the next time, cheers.